Hi everybody, it's Billy. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to make a basic ribbon skirt. Yay! The first measurement we need is the waist or the hip and you're gonna use whatever measurement is the largest. So for example, if your waist is 30 inches, you're gonna take half of that measurement, which is 15. So you add 30 inches plus 15 inches, which equals 45 inches. You then divide 45 by four, which gives you 11.25 inches. The 11.25 inches will be the waist measurement. The next measurement that you're going to need is the length of the skirt. The length of the skirt is measured from the waist to the bottom of the skirt. So if you want your skirt to go to your ankle, you're going to measure from your waist to your ankle. If you want your skirt to go from your waist to your shin, you're gonna take that measurement instead. So for example, if your measurement for length is 32 inches, you're going to add three inches for seam allowances, which gives you a length of 35 inches. So the first thing that you're going to need is your fabric. I prefer to work with cottons. Um, and I have two meters here and I have pre-washed and dried and ironed the fabric to get it ready for sewing. Fabric has a raw edge that's the edge that was cut and then it has a factory edge I'm just gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna take it again and fold it and what you end up with is four layers so this edge is the double folded edge I have my fabric here. This is a selvage edge, and this is going to be the waist. And then down here is going to be my bottom hem. And here is the double fold. All of my measurements are going to be taken from the double fold because when it's opened up, then I will have two pieces that are the same, the front and the back. So the first measurement I'm going to take is the waist and this skirt is going to be made at a 13 inch waist, which when folded out then becomes a 52 inch waist. So I find my 13 inch mark and I just give it a little mark there. And then for the length, I'm this skirt I want to be 34, about 34 inches long. So on that 34 inches, I need to add at least three inches to allow for the hem and the elastic casing. So 34 inches plus three inches is 37. So I'm gonna mark this skirt at 37 inches. Once I know where the bottom of the skirt is, 37 inches then I'm going to take my ruler and for the bottom I want this measurement down here to be at least a 15 and even higher for a taller person to allow for their um, natural stride to happen if you make this bottom part too narrow then it you're restricted in movement so I just find my 15 inches and I use the lines to square it up at the fold, the double fold, and then I just make my mark. And so there's 15 inches. And then you're gonna take your ruler, whatever straight edge you have, and you're just gonna join this. And that's how you measure out the skirt. Double fold, 13 inch waist, 15 inch bottom, and then join those two together. So once I have all of my measurements in place, I'm going to take my scissors or my rotary cutter 
and cut it out. Once my skirt is cut out, I'm going to lay it flat and I'm going to take my ruler and line it up along that cut edge, the bottom hem. And take my chalk and make a line all the way across. And I'm going to repeat that for as many rows of ribbon as I want. Once I have all my lines drawn out, then I'm going to choose the ribbons that I want. I'm going to cut two of each, one for the front, one for the back, and I'm going to cut them um, slightly longer than my skirt. So now that we've chosen the ribbon that we want to use, there's more than one way to attach it to your skirt. The first way is just by placing it on the line and just holding it in place as you sew it down. The second way of attaching your ribbon is to use a glue stick. This glue stick is unique and it's a fabric glue stick that I purchased at Fabricland. I purchase a lot of my things at Fabricland. They always have everything that I need. This glue stick I really like because it doesn't gum up my sewing machine. It doesn't gum up my needle. And you just take the glue stick and you rub it onto your ribbon and place it onto your skirt and give it a press and then sew it. I also like this because once I have it down, if I decide I don't like the way the ribbons look, I can lift it and move it so it's not permanent. Another way that you can attach your ribbon is by using 505. It's a temporary fabric adhesive and I purchased this one at Walmart. And this one is the same, it's not permanent, it's temporary so once you spray your ribbon, if you decide you don't like where it's at, you can move it also. And so what you want to do with this one is protect your surface, your work area, because there's going to be some overspray that happens. And you just take your ribbon and you give the 505 a good shake and you hold it about 12 inches away and give it a good spray. And then you can take your skirt and place it on the line, press it in place, and then it's ready to sew. So here's my ribbon attached to my skirt. You can see that I left some overhanging on both edges. And I've done both the front and the back the same. And I used fabric land ribbon on this skirt and it is five eighths of an inch satin ribbon. So when I sew ribbon on and I use a straight stitch, I just take um, this part of my presser foot and I use that as a guide to make sure I can continue with a straight line. So all of my ribbon is attached. Um, it's all been edge stitched. And this is just a basic ribbon skirt video. Um, but if you were going to put on applique, it would be done at this point. So now we're ready to put the side seams together. Um, I've put the fabric right sides together. I've match the raw edges on the bottom edge of the skirt and I've matched 
the edges on the top waist part of the skirt and I've just pinned it together. So this is the side seam. We're ready to sew it right now. I just use a quarter inch seam um, and we're gonna sew all the way from the top down to the bottom. this is the bottom hem so you can see I've surged it if you don't have a serger you can just use the zigzag um, setting on your regular sewing machine um, and I've taken about three quarters of an inch and pressed it up so this is the bottom edge there's inside the skirt you can see my ribbon that's gonna be on the bottom So here's the right side of my skirt. You can see my ribbon. And I started at this seam and you can see that I backstitched and I went all the way around and then came back and backstitched when I finished. So that's the bottom hem edge. That's the inside of it. So I have the the top hem the waistline right here I've surged the edge again you can use your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger and for this part I'm going to do a larger hem that I than I did on the bottom uh, this hem here is going to be the elastic casing so it has to be large enough for the elastic to fit in it so I'm going to do mine about an inch and a quarter and so I just take my iron and I'm gonna press it. So here I have my waistband. It's pressed all the way around. Um, this is a side seam of the skirt. This is the top waistband. I've placed two pins here to help me remember that I leave, need to leave this open. I'm gonna back stitch here and I'm gonna go all the way around to this side and back stitch here and this part is going to be left open and now I'm ready to put my elastic in and um, I just put a safety pin on it and then I'm going to slide this in and bring it all the way around until I have the two ends coming out. So here I have my elastic uh, put through the casing. Uh, the ends are coming out of the little opening and I've just done a stitch to hold them together. So I've just tucked the elastic inside the casing and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to back stitch and close up that seam. Well look at that. A completed skirt. So this skirt has the enclosed elastic. It has six rows of ribbon. And this is really just an easy project that even beginners can do in one day. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.